Today, I have very good news for people with diseases or conditions that are genetic in origin. First, let me express why I needed to clarify this information with my friend Dan Willis, who will be linked in the description. Dan is both an expert in extraterrestrial activity and in energy generation, and has been my go-to source for much information. The reason that I wanted to clarify the efficacy of medbeds on genetic maladies is because the holographic medbeds scan your body back to the moment of conception so any disorder or malformation that occurs after conception can clearly be repaired. For instance, if conception occurs and at some point during development in the womb, trauma or toxins cause a deformity, these types of birth defects would clearly be corrected since the damage occurred after conception. Genetic abnormalities, however, are something different because genetically transferred DNA occurs simultaneously at conception. There is no egg before the cart here. We know that conception and genetically transferred genes originate simultaneously. This raised questions in my mind as to whether these genetic defects could be repaired. Dan was very gracious, as always, to respond to me. And it's good news, guys. Sharing these videos is very important to assist people during the Great Awakening. The sooner the world becomes secure for medbeds and other suppressed technologies, the faster we can transition into a vibrant world of health and abundance. We are the awakening. I love responding to your questions and comments, so don't hesitate. I have one rule on my comments and community board, and that is to be kind. There's a super chat button below the video if you like my videos and are able to support it with a small donation. Also, I'll put a link to my store where I have some original Donald Trump and Medbed t-shirts. At birth, a baby has all the genetic material it will ever have, which comes from both parents. This genetic material is established at conception, when the sperm and egg combine to form a zygote with a full set of chromosomes. This set of genes remains unchanged throughout a person's life. However, while all genes are present from conception, their expression can change during development in the womb. Various factors, including environmental influences and epigenetic modifications, can affect how genes are turned on or off, which can impact the development of the fetus. Epigenetic modifications in the womb refer to changes in gene expression that occur without altering the underlying DNA sequence. These modifications can influence how genes are turned on or off and play a crucial role in fetal development. This is a little technical for most, but stick with me. The main types of epigenetic modifications include DNA methylation, the addition of a methyl group to DNA, usually at cytosine bases. This typically silences or reduces the expression of the associated gene. DNA methylation patterns can be influenced by factors like maternal diet, stress, and environmental exposures during pregnancy. Histone modification. Histones are proteins that help package DNA into chromosomes. Chemical modifications to histones, such as acetylation or methylation, can alter how tightly DNA is wound around them. This affects the accessibility of certain genes to the cellular machinery that reads and expresses them, either promoting or inhibiting gene expression. Non-coding RNAs. These are RNA molecules that do not code for proteins but can regulate gene expression. For example, microRNAs or miRNAs can bind to messenger RNAs or mRNAs and prevent them from being translated into proteins. Non-coding RNAs can be influenced by various intrauterine conditions. Environmental influences. Factors like the mother's diet, exposure to toxins, stress, and even the mother's emotional state can impact epigenetic modifications. For example, maternal nutrition can affect the availability of methyl donors, which are necessary for DNA methylation. Epigenetic modifications in the womb can have lasting effects on the child's health, influencing susceptibility to diseases, growth patterns, and even behavioral traits later in life. These changes are reversible, unlike genetic mutations, and can be passed on to future generations. So love your children in the womb, minimize stress, and eat well. You can actually optimize your child's development, preventing many diseases and debilitating conditions during the lifetime of your child. These changes in gene expression are part of the normal development process, but do not involve the addition of new genetic material. So let's take just a few minutes to look at a few genetic diseases. First, let's talk about what type of diseases we are discussing. Sickle cell anemia is a hereditary blood disorder caused by a mutation in the HBB gene. 
leading to abnormal hemoglobin that causes red blood cells to become rigid and sickle-shaped, resulting in blockages and pain. This disease occurs primarily in people of color. Down syndrome is caused by the presence of an extra chromosome 21, known as trisomy 21. This genetic disorder leads to developmental delays, intellectual disability, and characteristic physical features. Hemophilia is also a genetic disorder, often X-linked, where mutations in the F8 or F9 gene lead to a deficiency in clotting factors, causing excessive bleeding and difficulty in blood clotting. Fragile X syndrome is caused by a mutation in the FMR1 gene on the X chromosome. This disorder leads to intellectual disability, behavioral challenges, and distinctive physical features. Thalassemia is a group of inherited blood disorders caused by mutations in the genes that produce hemoglobin, leading to reduced or abnormal hemoglobin production and resulting in anemia. Huntington's disease is a progressive neurodegenerative disorder caused by a single defective gene on chromosome 4, leading to the gradual breakdown of nerve cells in the brain. Cystic fibrosis is a severe inherited disorder caused by mutations in the CFTR gene, leading to the production of thick, sticky mucus that can damage the lungs and digestive system. Tay-Sachs disease is a fatal genetic disorder caused by a mutation in the HEXA gene, leading to the destruction of nerve cells in the brain and spinal cord. Duchenne muscular dystrophy is an X-linked genetic disorder caused by mutations in the dystrophin gene, leading to progressive muscle degeneration and weakness. Familial adenomatous polyposis, or FAP, is a hereditary condition caused by mutations in the APC gene, leading to the development of numerous polyps in the colon and a high risk of colon cancer. And Marfan syndrome is a genetic disorder caused by mutations in the FBN1 gene, affecting the connective tissue and leading to issues in the heart, eyes, blood vessels, and skeleton. This does not include all diseases that are passed genetically from our parents. There are over 6,000 known genetic disorders. This number includes both rare and more common conditions, ranging from single gene mutations to complex disorders involving multiple genes and environmental factors. Additionally, advances in genetic research continue to uncover more disorders and improve our understanding of existing ones. At face value, this might be disheartening, but knowing the miraculous healing power of source energy, I knew there had to be a fix for these diseases, which prompted me to investigate further. The first reference that Dan gave me was Dr. Alex Collier, who has said that the medbeds can pull out slices of your DNA when it is at its optimal and project that perfect configuration onto the areas of disruption. We've talked about this before, and I believe that there is no question about damage that occurs in the womb. This is what prompted my query to Dan for more insight. Well, the answer came from Prince E.A., the heir of the Ankh Empire. The being Ea is an ancient and highly evolved entity from the Anunnaki and is also known as Enki. He is a key figure and a benevolent being with a deep connection to humanity, committed to guiding its development throughout history. Dan reminded me that Prince Ea has given the Earth Alliance the original pristine DNA codes before being altered by later entities to create a dumbed-down, less advanced and controlled humanity. The original DNA codes have apparently been incorporated into the med beds being stored on the moon. Dan continued by saying that the original codes will correct hereditary defects in the family bloodline, so this is excellent news for people with any sort of genetically passed disorders. You will be made whole again. I will keep you advised of any new information as I receive it, so please subscribe and hit the bell. Tim and I are trying very hard to get to the Global Spiritual Informers Connection in Colorado at the end of September. If we are able to get there, I'm hoping to get some amazing info and images for you. I've also been advised that there might be a very special event during the convention, so if you live in the area northeast of Denver, Colorado, you may want to look to the skies between September 27th and the 29th of 2024. If you are attending the conference, let me know, and perhaps we can meet up. This news has taken quite a bit of weight off my mind for people that are suffering with genetic disorders. You will not be left behind, and I am so grateful and happy for you. As we stand on the brink of a transformative era, the promise of free med beds offers a beacon of hope for healing and rejuvenation. This groundbreaking technology holds the potential to revolutionize medical care, making advanced treatments accessible to everyone and paving the way for a healthier future. As we eagerly anticipate this innovation, 
let us embrace the possibilities it brings and remain hopeful for the positive changes it will usher in for the people of Earth. Stay tuned for more updates as we journey toward a new horizon in healthcare. Until then, I'm creating a library of guided self-healing meditations specific for numerous conditions such as cancer, heart failure, diabetes, and more. While I am building this library, I am taking requests for specific healing meditations for your specific conditions. I have many requests right now and there will be many more over the coming weeks until we have the most comprehensive collection of guided healing meditations. So be sure to check out my playlist of healing guided meditations, which I will link at the end of this video. Until then, Rumi said, don't turn away. Keep your gaze on the bandaged place. That's where the light enters you.